Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Strap the Hook. I'm Mikey Slaybaugh, and today it's our first Central Regional stop in quite some time, almost a month. It has been a month since Coldwater. So today is exciting. Um, I'm a little tired. I'm a little sore. This weekend's been already crazy. Yesterday, I unfortunately got in a car accident that totaled my car. Don't worry. We're both okay. Um, it's just uh, one of those things where... Yeah, I don't need to get into it, but we're both fine. Now nah, I just need to start car shopping again. But uh, we're here in Fishers, here at Pinheads, at one of our, I think our most, one of our more popular stops here in the Central Regional Tour. Definitely one that everybody here loves because Pinheads just does an amazing job hosting. Uh, Kevin Walters does a phenomenal job of taking care of us bowlers, and um, it's going to be a good turnout, a good field. We're on 41 foot. Smith, uh, I can't remember exactly how this pattern played. I haven't built on this pattern in a minute, but it is the Central Regional Tour, and it's shorter than 48 feet. So urethane will be the play for sure to at least start, and then we'll move from there and see how the rest of it unfolds. So we're gonna go in. I need to get some more coffee. Um, hopefully, wake up a little bit. Last night was rough. We got up at 3:45 this morning to get here. Um, after having a long night last night taking care of all the stuff. So, you know what they say, there's nothing to it but to do it, and that's what we're gonna do today. So she currently is still waking up. I feel really bad for getting her out of bed at 3.45 this morning, but that's okay, she'll get over it. Um, yeah, let's go have a day, let's have some fun. Oh, also, it's the first tournament back since I made my swing change. So we'll see how that goes. Anybody who's been following along know that I knows that I made a big change a couple weeks ago, uh, getting my swing longer, getting that that bend out of my elbow. Yesterday I felt great at practice, so hopefully we can come in today, feel that same thing, and just make shots. Hopefully put together a good run today. Let's go have some fun, guys. It's good to be back. All right, so we're gonna get started here. You're gonna throw urethane, just, it's the most consistent look. The reactive didn't look too bad, but I feel more comfortable with urethane. Uh, I am very, very tight in my lower back, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I took some Tylenol, so hopefully we'll loosen things up and get going, but so go out and do the best I can today. Hopefully make some good shots and make a good run at this, so let's have some fun.
All right, well, this is gonna be a little bit more of a, a short video, unfortunately, because, well, we're we're going home. We missed the top 12 heading into match play um, by 20, 20 pins. And I, unfortunately, that is my own fault. I missed four single pin spares today, two in the last game alone um, to miss the number. I also shot 150 and we did cash, which is a huge plus. I'm actually very, very pleased with that because Pinheads here I've always had like this weird love-hate relationship with and I really wanted to make match play today because tomorrow I would have urethane in play and that would make me um, I would be in contention I would just say that if urethane's in play for me and so I kind of knew that out of the gates things were gonna be great I was 100 over after three I was sitting in a good spot and then I, uh, I, I'm a little rusty. I uh, made the big swing change. Well, I say big swing change, but I made the big adjustment to my swing uh, three weeks ago, and I'm still having to think about it. It's still one of those things where I can't just do it naturally. I have to process it when I go up and bowl and make sure that I'm extending my arm and making sure my swing is as, as long as I can get. Um, and so I was a little uncomfortable for most of the day. Um, was able to put together a couple decent games at the end uh just i shot 150 in the middle and that was purely just got to a pair that was awful i didn't have a ball to do the right thing i didn't really know what i was looking for and as we finally stumbled our way through the next couple games i was able to get myself back on track and uh yeah just uh 150 is not what we want to do but that's okay we still managed to fight back i could have counted myself out after game five there but we battled back we got ourselves back into contention i was just inside the number going to the last game and unfortunately like i said two missed single pin spares um cost me so that's all right i did need a double in the 10th to cash um actually i needed a double in nine to cash and that's exactly what i did i got ronnie russell by one stick so i threw two extremely good shots in the 10th frame to get a cashing check or cashing spot which is uh, again huge bonus but a little bummed i'm i'm ready to start contending for titles again um there's a lot that needs to get corrected and not just with my bowling but with my lifestyle and schedule and making sure my priorities are focused on where they need to be so that way when i come out i'm more stress-free and also too elizabeth and i have had the run around the past two months financially just everything that can break breaks and everything that we need to pay for to get fixed or buy or whatever it just feels like we're just getting pinched really bad right now so uh the check definitely helps him you know it is what it is that's life and we're just going through it so she deserves tacos so we're gonna go get some mexican food and we're gonna celebrate 
a small victory today. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Give it the keep, keep everything straight off the hook. And I will see you guys in Bluffton, Indiana next weekend. Take care, guys.